on good ones, bad, yeah, they're really always like this. We don't know who's who, but at least we know who Mike is. They love to complain, they got sports on the brain, and they frequently drive each other insane. It's the good and the bad and the my yeah, yeah, yeah. The good and the bad and the my yeah, yeah, yeah. The good and the bad and the my yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the good and the bad and the my yeah, 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 yeah. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Good, The Bad and The Mike. I'm Washin. that's Keen. and that's Mike. Hello. So, I actually, I just, before we continue, uh, we, I was listening to the team song. I know you guys can't hear it when I play it, but it's just <laughs> so fucking good. The Maya, yeah. <laughs> For anyone ask, I have tried and I cannot legally petition to have my name changed to my I like. No, no, you just just go the full Red, Red Bull uh, Avenue where they couldn't, they got sued because Red Bull didn't give you wings, so they put in a fuck load of eyes. So, so I like they, it. And uh, then nobody can sue them. Yeah, that, that seems pretty solid. <laughs> the second, like, um, they're not Red Bull when in their football teams as well, they're a Russian Bull. Isn't it Russell Bull? No, it is. No, it is Red Bull. It's RB Leipzig, but I don't think it's. It's not like Red. It's Bull Red Bull Leipzig. New York, isn't it? No, uh, I think it's the RB. RB New York. Is it RB New York? It's RB New York. I do. I do like and hate the fact that they have this chain. It's, it's... And I know I don't really follow, it, but apparently, don't they just completely abuse the rules on sending players over and back between their like three teams? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. But I again, I don't. No, it's a huge amount. But it is, it's Russian yeah. Bull Sport. My apologies. Which I find interesting because uh, they're just Red Bull in Formula One. It's just a Red Bull team. Yeah, but I think the rules are that. different. I don't and know. And then don't they have are. like. Oh, do they still have Toro Rosso or are they gone? No, they still have Toro Rosso as their, as their yeah, uh, second team, which is really just interesting. Red Bull in Italian. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, in, in Italy, do yeah. they call the Red Bull team Red Bull? I would assume so. To Tara Rosso. Just, I would assume so. See, it's, it's Red Bull and Tara Rosso still. Mm. I mean, what else do they got to call it? Tara Rosso. And what would they call Tara Rosso? <laughs> that was my Red. entire question. Exactly. <laughs> they have to call it Red Bull. The other one. Mm-hmm. Tara the Rosso Red Bull at two. home. It's the Red Bull at home. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> we, we, not even three minutes in, we hit a tangent already. That's not the point. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that it's a really good, really good team tune. And thanks again to Joe, Cast Like Clouds on SoundCloud. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, let's kick things off with the news. <laughs> Who's got some news they want to share? I guess I'll go first and work away. <laughs> I was keeping this secret for the show, but we kind of brought up earlier on Carson Wentz <laughs> to Philadelphia. Eagles recently traded their starting QB to Colts. Big move. Everyone thought this could be it. Got himself injured instead of missing 5 to 12 weeks. It's worth Hasn't noting done anything. that uh, I also read this earlier. This is how we found out that Mike had it for the news. <laughs> I read it earlier and said it when we were uh, on Xbox earlier and Mike went, oh, that's my news. I already said it because I didn't think it was newsworthy enough. That's like five I mean, to twelve weeks is so much for a starting considering, quarterback. Yeah, considering yeah, considering it's an I off did, season where he doesn't get hit. I did look into it a bit more, and apparently, according to doctors, they say it's an old injury, possibly dating back to high school, uh, where the broken no. bone came loose and started to cause pain. How how did the Colts stop pick that up before signing? Right? Yeah, I, I assume they would have, but it would have been like. I assume that's, he just hurt it doing something. That's the cult screwed already for the season. Yeah, like I'm looking at their other quarterbacks here, and what the best one would be like Jacob Eason, maybe. Yeah, because they got rid of Jacoby for yeah, set. They, they traded did. him because they're like, oh, we got Carson, we're good. So do we think they'll, they'll try and pick up another one or trade for one in the preseason? Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Josh, Josh oh. Rosen. Oh. Um, maybe maybe the 49ers will cut Nathan Sudfeld. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, Colts. Uh, here, was it, no, what is it like? The Patriots are cutting uh, uh, skids. 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 Oh, skids. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance, I've always said. Give him a chance. I mean, Barry Hoyer could go back. It's, he was there before. Hoyer that to was destroyer. the playbook. Hoyer to destroyer. 
and then he plays it two years and then comes back to us for the last year. It's, it's like that noting... dog in Snatch. He always just comes home. <laughs> exactly. It's worth noting that the Colts seem to have a bit of a history of downplaying quarterback injuries. Like in really? 2011. Ah. Yeah, I read someone earlier say that in 2011 they downplayed uh, Peyton's, I think it was a neck injury. Yeah, bro. And neck. he missed the season. Uh... And then in yeah, that was the year 15, they, they downplayed uh, Andrew Luck. Aaron, yeah, Andrew that was... Luck. Yeah, they and didn't he missed know. the season. And then in 17, they downplayed Andrew Luck's uh, different injury, and then he retired. And then this season, they, they downplayed Carson Wentz's injury, and then reports just kept getting yeah. progressively mm-hmm. worse as we got closer to the season. That's interesting. So, never trust the Colts when they talk about a, an injury. That's what I've injuries. Yeah, that's very fair. Where were they when they drafted? Were they a top? They were... They... they, they, they I remember, because I've, I've heard Pat McAfee talk about this so much. They had a massive swing where there was a year they nearly they got the Super Bowl, which is the year I think two thousand and nine, and then like yeah. two years later was the year eleven was when Peyton got injured and they just took for luck. The year. Yeah, took for luck. So yeah. they went from the top to the I mean like two years. Were you wondering? I don't have the cap this year. Hmm. Mike. Yeah. Oh, what? this year. Yeah, do you remember the pick? Uh, they weren't in line for a QB. Twenty first. No. Twenty first. Oh, yeah. They got twenty uh, first. Okay. Yeah. Division. So they weren't. They could have done a Bears and maybe got. Could have they wanted. But, like, yeah. At the time, people would have said it would have been stupid. Yeah. You can't prepare for this. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're dead on. Like if you're traded for Wentz. Well, for hey, look, the Bears are probably loving this carcinogen because they might be able to offload either. <laughs> Nick Foles, yeah. Andy Dalton. I knew <laughs> say, please yeah. take our QBs. Please take at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special uh, trade one, get one free offer on QBs at the moment. Uh, it's almost as bad. Do you remember the, was it the Bears last season? They had like 11 tight ends on their roster. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because they push in playing Madden, you can never have too many tight ends. <laughs> too many tight ends. Because they're just crossing, tight ends and crossing routes are broken on Madden. Yeah, Fun fact, for anyone out there who's playing Madden, tight end, crossing route, boom. You win it's every single open. game. Uh, I believe it's fake field goal, go to the left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try to literally it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Put Trevor Lawrence in your uh, field goal blocker. <laughs> It will be interesting to see how he does uh, yeah, this year, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Uh, no, I'd be yeah, surprised right. if it they will didn't. be interesting to see how Trevor does. Apparently, yeah. um, who'd you call him? Trey Lance has done really well in preseason so far, in training camp so far, uh, for the 49ers. So I am actually really tempted to see. Yeah, but they can't Pony say he's not. Rookie of, the, uh, yeah. rookie of the year. That's going to back Joe. Sorry, mate. Super Bowl champion Mac Jones. Yeah, so look with that. Neither of them are like playing, probably. Yeah, I honestly uh, wouldn't be surprised if Jimmy G started the season, but it's on the off chance. Week five. Mac Jones, week five. Calling it now. Why week five? It's after the Brady game. Right. I think people are calling Trey Lance around the same time. Week six, I think possibly. Yeah. They're not. They're not going to put. Uh, by week, they're not going to put Mac Jones in the Bucks game because the narrative will be, ah, oh, this the game. It's Brady against his replacement. Yeah, that's why Brady got put him in. No, nah, they won't do that to him. Fair Say week five should. will be the earliest, probably for the best. Unless Cam does Cam things. <laughs> yes, Cam. Yes, we'll Cam. No Cam. <laughs> no Cam. No Cam. No Cam. Yes, Cam. Say, uh, yes. <laughs> a staple of our. Our NFL watch parties last season. <laughs> Looking forward to them again. Oh, uh, yeah. Even if somebody apparently has better things to do. Yeah, I have or... to lead. Or why is Nick Mullins nose so weird was another staple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so. I don't know why. It's okay, he's not at the 49ers anymore, though, so I won't have to watch it. 
I won't have to see his nose anymore. Once again, apologies for all you Nick Mullins fans out there. <laughs> He's at the Eagles now. I don't know, it's not a hope in hell I'm watching the Eagles. Although, I have heard uh, not great things about, what's his name? Jalen Hurst? Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Boom. Yes, that's the one. Apparently, he's incredibly inconsistent, which was his problem in college as well. So I wonder if they yeah. uh, actually go with him as a starter. Well, who else do they have? Nick Mullins. Oh, yes. Nah. Because you have, have some... Uh, wait, no, but what about that 37-year-old that they just wanted to see what they had and gave the last yeah, quarter of the last game he's of the year? Yeah, he's at the 49ers. He's at the 49ers there, yeah. Is yeah, he? Some, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some so they, they just let him go anyway. Yeah. <laughs> He's on, oh my God. Uh, he's on the absolute minimum that he can be on, I believe. That Josh Rosen's so still sense. around, isn't he? Josh Rosen. Yeah, he's on the Niners, isn't I he? I think still on the Niners as well. Uh, the Niners actually have like five or six quarterbacks. They have, I'm just looking here. They they have four now with Garoppolo, Lance, Rosen, and Sudfeld, yeah. Yes. Um, you need about, to be fair, you need about four for camp anyway. Yeah, how many? No, yeah, how many? Oh, you need, yeah, at least. How many did they, didn't they use four last year because of all the injuries? Yeah, and they usually yeah. keep three on the, yeah. the game day roster anyway, I believe. Yeah. So, like, we signed, we signed a quarterback from the Packers just for training camp. I can't even remember oh, his yeah. name. No, like, just because bring, like, plus Stidham, players Stidham camp, got so. injured. Yeah. So we need the four QB. Um, sure. Yes, yeah, so other news. Keen, do you have news? Yes. Well, very niche news, but I feel niche like this should be broadcast, broadcasted more. So, I had a fun weekend. Spent a lot of it watching the last major for Call of Duty Esports. Very mm-hmm. fascinating. Good weekend. Good close games. Exciting stuff. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And then last night, I sat down to watch the, the finals. So, the finals are a bit weird. Normally, in most competitions where they use like a double elimination bracket, they used to go then that the losing team, the team coming from the loser side, would have to win two best of fives to take the tournament. Right. Um, but in Call of Duty, they kind of wanted to go away from that and change it to one best of nine, which kind of sucks because if you're coming from winner's bracket, you have zero advantage for coming through winner's bracket. They used to where you got an automatic one match win and go into the best of nine one nil up. Which was fine. People seem to like that, but anyway. So they're playing last night. They also have to sit around all day and wait because there's like the losers semi, losers final, and then the grand final. Yeah. Because the winners final gets played the day before. So they were sitting around all day waiting to play a team of came through from winners and it was team to be considered fifth or sixth. Touch and they won the winner side. A very kinda of, a rank outsider. They beat a couple of good teams looking good. And then say the second best team considered one from the loser side to meet them in, in grand final. And team coming from loser side took a, a four nil lead straight away and needed to win one more map to seal the, the last major of the year. And then proceeded to lose five maps in a row. Oh my god. And oh. honestly, these men are never going to get over that. Because it's it's a huge thing. There's only kinda five majors plus then the champs at the end of the year. There's only six tournaments all year. They'd already won one, they'd won it well. But to, to lose, to go 4 0 up and to lose five straight. And those four, they look very dominant. They, they demolished in the first four maps. And then, oh, it was because every, every time they'd win a map, they'd kind of go, all right, this is fine, but surely they're not going to do it. And then they wouldn't look at the other team. No, no, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine, but surely they're not going to win a third map. And they just kept piling them on. And uh, yes, yeah, it was heartbreaking to see. Yeah. You hate when it happens. It has happened. I can say it's happened to me a few times. Yeah, with, no. with you guys, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We'd be not like for the same stage. Not, not in. Not ah, in yeah. uh, like I'm talking five maps in a row, not like five oh. rounds of S and D. I'm talking five maps. Oh Like no. this would have been, yeah. Like it, it's insane. Like they were. They yeah, were did up they quite get? Well and it was. Did it they was, get really was... cocky and say pistols only? No, 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 but the commentators 360 though, got very so. cocky, obviously. <laughs> and like you can see the other pros talking on Twitter about how they already won halfway through the game. So it was nobody expected to come back to happen because the better team were four maps up. Definitely. But I think now of a bottle job. Like oh, completely. But I think 
the, the only reason that they win is there's nobody around to scrim them to warm them up before the game. So they had to scrim against their two coaches who don't play like uh, at a high level anymore. So they were not warm heading into the the start of it and just got boxed early on, uh, which is a, a, the main issue people want to talk about is that the, the format is just horrible for the, the team coming through winners. But uh, yeah, that was quite shocking. I kept sitting mm-hmm. up going, all right, one more map, and then I go to bed, but it just kept going. <laughs> just never ended. No, it was, yeah. It was, uh... <laughs> um, well, I have a few pieces of news, but before I go into my news, does anyone else have more news they want to share? Uh, my four, I have more Olympics kind of news, but I'll bring it up maybe later if we want to yes, go, yeah. go we'll we'll discuss, yeah. discuss Olympics more Olympics. So I want yes. Olympics to discuss, kind of. Um, Grand. In that case, I'm going to pop into my news. Uh, so I've got a bit of uh, Formula One news. We had an exciting race in Hungary this weekend. Kid, I don't know if you uh, you saw anything about it, or are you still trying no, to I, avoid spoilers for the follow. next season of? Well, I'm not trying to avoid it. it, but it's just not a sport that I follow, so Fair. I don't pay attention to it in between drive to survive. We had a uh, Esteban Ocon won the Hungary Grand Prix in the Hungaro Ring. It's his first Grand Prix win since joining F1 in 2016, I believe. Give us the name again. Esteban Ocon. He wasn't in... Oh! oh. I remember. Uh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yes. He uh, was driving for Alpine, and he managed to get a win because there was a pretty big crash on turn one, lap one. That Did took Hamilton out... do it again? No, it was, actually Hamilton was clear of it. He was like the only driver <laughs> who was ahead of it when it happened. <laughs> um, took out five drivers, like on the first turn. It was Hamilton's teammate Bottas who just Passed didn't. It. Yeah, he he got overtaken and then braked way too late and went right into the back of Lando Norris and the McLaren, who took out. I think essentially both Red Bull cars. So uh, Max Verstappen, who was against Hamilton in the the race for the championship, Mm. spent the entire race with like a really damaged car and ended up finishing in 10th, I believe. Um, So there was an awful lot of controversy from the very get-go. And then Hamilton... After the formation, the, the whole race was red flagged and they had to start the whole thing again without those six drivers, five drivers. And Hamilton was the only oh. car after the formation lap not to pit and change tyres. So he was the only car on the grid at the start of the race again a second time. And then So they, they, to... they pulled the full restart of the race? Yeah. yeah. Just without uh, the, the drivers who I were... I assume that's rare because I've never heard that happening. It's only when... Uh, there's like they have to clear the field, awful lot of multiple debris, car, and they ha- yeah they have to they have to mm. red flag the race. Oh, okay. Um, so like it wasn't a co- I think it was also because they hadn't even completed a lap. It was achieved one turn. So it was but, Hamilton's teammate that caused the crash, right? Yeah. Yes. And he has so essentially penalty. So, so essentially they karate kid. <laughs> yeah, they full on to karate sweep the legs. They sweep <laughs> the Hamilton legs. Go through. <laughs> And then Is Hamilton punched him in the face and didn't even win. That's just how Yeah, it Hamilton then had to pit really early and came from last up to fourth. And then, even more controversy, Sebastian Vettel, who finished second, uh, has been disqualified from the race because they were unable to take a fuel sample after the race to check for an illegal mix. And it's because... Doping. Did he get to <laughs> He's doping. Doping. No, it's because <laughs> they have to be able to take one liter uh, of fuel out at any point, but they were only able to take zero point three liters out of the car after the race. And the Aston Martin principal or the head of the team said there was one point four four liters left in the tank, but they were only able to withdraw zero point three for some reason, and they plan to appeal. But it means that everyone else has gotten pumped up. And Sebastian Vettel loses a second place finish. 
that's that's an interesting word. So, sounds really like that. an interesting episode for Keen to watch later down the yeah, line. Wait for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it could be a year from now. <laughs> Honestly, was, uh... actually, I'm gonna be so annoyed. I do next summer when the next season comes out. Yeah, and you'll know everything before it happens. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. You yeah. No, it's fine, because I didn't watch the first, like, I don't know how many races there have been. We're at the summer break now, so however many races there are before the summer break. So you, the first it. couple of races, December. the first couple of races, you'll be fine. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, I know. It's only the second half of the season that'll be completely yeah, spoiled on you. Completely. Fuck, completely. <laughs> Um, and then I had other news in football news. Oh. First, first no. of all, we have a a, a lovely feel good <laughs> uh, story uh, at Aston Villa's friendly. I believe it was Aston Villa's friendly over the weekend. Kevin Friend gave a yellow card to the entire crowd because they were chanting, "You're just a shit white dean." <laughs> He's gonna take that to heart. Friend doesn't fantastic. make them leave. They go outside the barrier. Go. <laughs> the go. second yellow, you're out. Yeah. Get out of here. That's it. That's, I, I absolutely loved that story. The other one was uh, Harry Kane was due to report to Spurs today for training and was in Osho. Just didn't show up. It, I think okay. he's in. He's uh, he pushing for whole... his move to City and he yeah. just decided he's not going to show up for preseason today. Yeah. But he's um, he's an idiot in the sense of which I don't understand. He's saying, "Oh, I've always wanted to move to win trophies. Why do you sign a six-year extension if you know you're just going to get locked in on it?" Well, I think at the time he was promised uh, an improving team at a new stadium with a better manager. That was just before I think, Mourinho, I think. He did get. He got. Are they not he, just in a new stadium. They that, got the stadium. They yeah, got the stadium. He, oh. he signed this contract three no. three years ago. He's three years into a six year deal. Uh, they think. got the stadium. They got the yeah, the Saki Mourinho. I found was strange. I felt it was out of nowhere. Really, like Spurs were challenging for the title. Come was it December? They were title contenders, and it fell out. Since yeah, many I'm teams, one hundred percent. I remember there was the big clash in the top two when we played, when Liverpool played them, and Firmino scored the two to win 2 1. Yes. That was a key game in the title race <laughs> when we were contending as well. Um, I believe. Like, but, like, they haven't. They've. If I remember correctly, they finished runners up behind Chelsea in 16 17, and since then have yeah. finished progressively worse every season. Yeah. So it's just I I can understand why he would want to move to win trophies. But which year was Leicester year? They came second to Leicester, didn't they? It was Leicester. Yes, they finished second. I yeah. I, hmm. I'm gonna check because the, there was uh, the big collapse at Stamford well, Bridge. They finished behind Chelsea that year. Yes, I I was right. They finished second in sixteen seventeen as well behind Chelsea. Ah, huh. fuck you guys. I just said that they finished second the year that Leicester won it. I just wasn't sure yeah. where that was. I was that's not fair. saying you're wrong. That, that, that's all right, then. Uh, just, just, just as long as we all know, yeah, that wasn't yeah, wrong. You were right. You were matters. right on this occasion. We will give you a... Um, oh, wait, anyway, I was even wrong. They came third. Arsenal came second. My point. All right, Keith's off fact-checking duties. Oh, I checked the facts. So, I think <laughs> weren't Arsenal the only team to do the double against Leicester that season? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. I may be wrong on that one. Yeah. Um, Let's not leave ourselves open to these. Lads, Liverpool came eight that year. Yeah, I know. Was it a great year? It wasn't a great year at all. Oh no, no Arsenal wasn't. weren't. I think Liverpool were actually Liverpool were the only team to do the double over Leicester last year. Oh, possibly yeah. actually both of them. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> one, Who knows? Maybe the other, possibly both. Who knows? All right, right. Look, it's distract. one of those three <laughs> scenarios. Okay. One of you those say... three scenarios. We really have both of those three ain't wrong. <laughs> if you say all of them, it's fine. You can't be wrong. It's technically, you said oh, it was I'm right. I have to look up Leicester's results in 2015 season. That was 15 16. 15 16? Yes. Oh, I'm all over the place. Um, yeah, I think he stays at Tottenham this year. I can't see him moving. It'll be very interesting to see uh, what happens there. Did he just uh, not get like a summer break? Because like when did the Euros finish up? Like three weeks, weeks ago. Three weeks. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a very short Jeez, summer break. Like... And I think it's going to be a short uh, summer break next year as well. Players. Because uh, the, not the this season, around. but next season will be starting the World earlier Cups. because the World Cup is in the winter. Yeah. In November. Oh, yeah. Which is a fucking shit show. That's good. Oop, oop. Um, the other news I had was that City, Man City have bid, placed a bid for £100 million for Jack Grealish. Is that official? I I was wondering because I've heard a lot of reports saying that they put a bid in, but I saw I haven't the, seen. Uh, yes, the 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 actual bid I believe is official, but they haven't. It's believed Aston Villa are going to accept it, but I don't think they've officially accepted yeah. it yet. This is why I don't think Kerry moves from Spurs this season because I can't see City spending 100 million on Grealish and what <clears throat> at least 150 for Kane. You say that, but actually there's a ton of reports that City, outside of the 100 million they're bidding for Grealish, have made, I don't know how, I haven't looked into how they've done it, but from player sales and loan fees and promissory payments or something, something, mm -hmm. something, um, they've actually made 150 million this transfer window so far that is planning to be used for Harry Kane. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked into how it's actually like all put together, mm. but um, I just saw a headline from the Athletic, who seem to know their shit. To be fair, most of the time. Interesting. So fair enough. I trust them. Um, I think that's all the news I had. I guess do we talk about Ferrango yeah. and Team United? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> God, I, mean... week. I just never wrote it down. It's, a, go on. it's an interesting one, but I feel, once again, that's not the position they need. And I'm more than happy. I know they'll say, oh, we need a centre-back. And I'll thought, really, it's defensive mids what you needed. And what you kind of need is a defensive mid. Because they're stuck with playing two in defensive mid because they can't have one that's good enough to do it themselves. And it's just shot in the foot. It's always Fred McTominay, always in the defensive mid because... They need that security. I'd like to point He's out, it's Scott McTominay, isn't it? It is Scott McTominay. Yeah. No, I think he means so the two players. Do you? Fred yeah. and, and McTominay. McTominay. Oh. Fred McTominay. Fred was a complete waste of fifty million. He and I, I was impressed, but you were so close. So close. I was looking at that as a win. That was definitely one person. He said it's Fred McTominay. It's not Fred and McTominay. <laughs> Football now just slowly coming back. Uh, yeah, see, this is why I don't want to get invested into uh, Premier League fantasy, is because then, like, I have so many things that take up so much of my time. I don't think I can squeeze in football anymore. To be fair, though, you have a better knowledge of the Bundesliga free than I would. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Italian Serie C is still my strong point, but Bundesliga 3 is not bad. Bundesliga it's 3 is pretty solid, to be fair. Yeah. I, I, I have many gripes about it. That uh, Bundesliga 3, you need to have four German under-23s in your matchday squad, and then like half your team has to be at least Germans, which is weird for what is a, a like a fully professional league that isn't a developmental league. Demand it, you need to have all these young players and kind of homegrown players. I get the homegrown players one a bit, but Making them have, was it like four or five under 23s? I don't know. Mm. It just, it's not a developmental league. It is sure. a proper league, and that's weird to me. It is I mean, there was, there was that case in Estonia oh, where yeah. the team had to make a substitution within the first two seconds of the game because they had to field an under 16 mm. homegrown player because the rest they of the first team suffered from COVID. So he had to start. Yeah. Just start to kick off, and as soon as kick off was taken, they subbed him off. To bring on the yeah, sub we could play. Uh, this senior member. Oh, sure. Shit, how's it? Big fan of that. Yeah. Just a quick note before we move on, because when you mentioned United, you reminded me of it. Uh, I saw Rio Ferdinand make a pretty solid point earlier today, which I don't often say. But that uh, if a player like Paul Pogba had decided he wasn't just go he just wasn't going to show up for preseason training to try and force a move, the media would be all over him. Oh, completely, yeah. But, but nah, yeah. because it's Harry Kane, no, he Harry seems Kane. to get the benefit of the doubt. Ah. I mean, that's always been the case, though. 
English players to media is fine. Like the funniest is best example is Salah dive. Kane was smart to get the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always get me. He was smart to get the penalty. So stupid. Um, but anywho, that's all the news I had. Oh wait, hang on. Just before we move on, uh, Mike, anything happening in Poland? Ah, oh, no, I completely forgot to check my Poland news. God damn it. Oh, no. I knew I, I had one check job. Check with Poland segment. <laughs> check with Poland segment. Oh, hold Hang on. on. Wait, what was my, uh, what was, was my Tom Hardy watch? Yeah. yeah Tom I Hardy actually do have, her, I do have a note on that, actually. All right. <laughs> uh, the new trailer, there was a new trailer for Carnage, the second uh, Venom movie uh, starring Tom, Tom Hardy, and it looks pretty decent. That was, that's Tom Hardy watch for you. <laughs> Mike, you need to pull the finger out and get to work on your segments. Yes. That's it, yep. Yeah. It's kind of, to be fair, Lewandowski's still kind of on holiday as a breacher. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lewandowski is all of the Poland news. Poland sports news. Um, Sorry, okay. any other hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang uh, on. Okay, stall for a little bit while I can find my one that I meant to forgot about. Oh, okay. Oh, stall for a bit. <laughs> Did you see the uh, Europa Conference? Oh, okay, I found it. Found it. Oh, okay. I was going to oh. talk about Bowles okay. versus Panathinaikos. Oh. Okay, no, but I just want to get into my segment of things people said that you can't say. Oh yeah. Uh, oh so yeah. So this was uh, in the Olympics. German cycling coach. Now, this one wasn't public. It just got caught by my German cycling coach, Patrick Moster, has been sent home from Tokyo 2020 after referring to cyclists as camel riders. The phrase roughly translates to, uh, he shouted as bears, catch those camel riders, when he was referring to countries, I believe, in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, athletes from Eritrea and other non-European nations while passing the bottled waters, bottles of water to them. No, <laughs> no. Say that. no. Yeah, it's just, it's just like I always find they're, they're it can be weirder when they're translated. Um, I forget English ones, but uh, yeah, that's at least he didn't say it publicly. He just got caught publicly. Less of a thing, like he still shouldn't be saying it, but I think it's worse when someone says something really bad in public. Yeah, that's very fair. But uh, uh, sorry, Oshin, Bulls. Yeah, Bulls play Panathinaikos in the next round after a good. Win against uh, FC Dudelange. I don't know how you pronounce it. I was pronouncing Dudelange. That's uh, that's I always pronounce it Dudelange. I um, but I have Dudelange. No idea. To be honest. They are Belgian, so Dudelange might be correct. Um, they play Panathinaikos, and if they win that, they could possibly play. I think it's Aberdeen, but I'm not a hundred percent on that one. And uh, oh, is it Dundalk play Vitesse? I think. It's either Dundalk Ooh, or Shamrock Rovers play Vitesse in the next round of... Um... Yes, it's Dundalk, Vitesse. Oh, and then fair, they, fair. they also play someone who is quite well known. I think Rovers have an easier one. I say easier, but I can't remember who exactly it is. But yeah, yeah. Uh, like two quite well known European teams. Very I big European Dundalk. Teams. It'll be very interesting to see if they can pull off uh, wins there. Should be good. All right. So, uh, just an update on Polish news stories. Unless they're <laughs> quite big, I will not be doing big updates as I have to slowly it, learn right. Polish because they're not on a major English news website. <laughs> I'm currently reading Polish websites. Like, I do not recognize any of these words. God That's very fair. <laughs> so, unless they're big enough, I cannot make any news. For our Polish news, I just can't translate. For the time being. Let's move on to... I believe you had Olympics news. Both of you I mean, had Olympics news you wanted to discuss. I would say it's news. I felt funny while watching some Olympics and some of the highlights. I don't know where it came up, but it was a female hockey game. Argentina-Holland. When Argentina were winning 1-0. Last quarter, I think seven minutes left, and the cameraman just panned, switched the feed to a cockroach just crawling on the bench. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Like, mid, during like the while, game. while there is, yeah, during yeah. the play. <laughs> just, just switched to a cockroach, and I was like, 
But that's how interesting everyone was in the, in the sport. Yeah, 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 we're just going to look at this that. cockroach for a bit. I found that pretty funny. That is that's, pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to know who gave the okay for that. Because there's somebody just controlling all the feeds going, okay, we're going there. Now we're going there. It must have been a, a mix-up with them. Yeah. Mm. You, right, I know you I would... Yes. Well, this is yeah. just a big one. Big, big news out of the Olympic. For the first time since... 2004, we've had not Usain Bolt win the 100 meters because he's retired. And we've had Marcel Jacobs from Italy win it, which was quite surprising because he was not amongst the top kind of three or four, I don't believe, considered to win it. He was a surprise in the final yeah. and uh, did well. Round I... 7979. I did see that only because I saw a photo which I thought was digressing, and I'll send it on our group chat later, but it was. You know, Chiellini on Saka. Uh, yeah. They imprinted Saka on the finish line of Chiellini doing it back saying, Chiellini doing anything to make sure Italy win <laughs> on the finish yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> I but, found um, very funny. I did see I watching... in the, the first heat, I think it was, for the 100 metres, mm. the, uh, I can't remember what his name was, but the Nigerian um, runner with two false starts getting disqualified. You only get disqualified after one. Uh, he gave two. Uh, there was two false starts. To give him two. And I'm pretty sure they were both him. Because no that one... did happen in the final. The uh, British runner, Darnell Hughes, I think his name was. And it wasn't even close. Like, I'm not normally good at spotting them, but he, he left so early that, like, he watching it live. Like, yeah, he's just. And he knew. He then had to make the walk of shame. Fair. There was two, there was two false starts, and I'm not sure. Maybe there was. Maybe they just couldn't tell who it was in the first one. I don't know. I have no idea. But, I know it um, used to be too, got, but they changed it. He got disqualified after the second false start anyway. And I was just Fair. thinking, like, you train for so long to get here. And it's just over so yeah. soon. Oh, yeah. That's like, it's just the mind numbingness of training, you know, for all your life for a 10 second race. It's weird. Is that not weird? Anyone else out? It's 10 seconds. Yeah, it is. It but you is. have to trade your entire life. But I was I was kind of annoyed at the RTE coverage of it. Now, like, they had a weird light show before the Olympics did because at their main event, they like legitimately had this whole 100 meter light thing. It was cool, kind of weird, I thought. Probably annoyed the athletes. But RTE kept referring to uh, Jacobs, the guy who won, as American born Italian runner. So I assumed he was some lad who was American who just had Italian parents, which he was, but he moved to Italy when he was five and did all his training in Italy. I just kind of assumed he hadn't, the way they kept referring to him as American born. Yeah. I thought that was a bit weird. They kind of brought it up for too much more than they they should have. But uh, I don't uh, see why what? it should matter. Like, I, I can see it like, being important, but literally every time they're referring to his nationality, they wouldn't just call him Italian. They mm. called him American born Italian. What what do you think of the gymnast? Oh, it's been on the... Oh, why can't I think of her name right now? Simone Biles? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's all the same people giving out about her, but I, I think she's more than well in her right to, uh, to take a step back. Didn't she come back and like compete? She's she's competing again. Yeah, but, like the floor. Like, I don't see I think my from my point... I well, don't agree with her drop. I agree she could drop out, but if you're dropping out just at the event, that's where I have a issue. Is where because I'm like there are other people whose dream was to do it. And oh if you're yeah. Dropping, if you go to the event, go. Nah, I'm done. Don't want to do it. That's where I have an issue. No, no, no. I, I think you're very wrong there. Like, oh, like oh, you I imagine that in, so. in like <laughs> April, Harry Kane going, lads. I don't. I'm not feeling. I don't want to play in the Euros. As opposed to them, like everyone would go, no, fucking play in the Euros. Whereas if he's in the Euros, he's like. I'm playing shit. No, that's so much. Whereas I understand yeah. that a hell of a lot more. I, I do understand. Hear her just... say that during whatever routine she was doing, like when she was in the air, she lost track of where the ground was, and so oh, in that God. case, when she was coming back down, didn't know if she was going to land feet first or head first or what was going to happen, and that I thought was quite interesting because I think at that point it's down to whether it's safe yeah for you to continue oh yeah and if she's come back i didn't realize she was coming back but if she's only come back to do like 
the floor stuff. I think it's. I think that's a completely pummel different. horse, isn't it? She not doing pummel horse. I have no idea. I haven't. I hadn't heard anything about her coming back. To be honest, but um, I thought it was mm-hmm. a joke. The people who were calling her a national embarrassment in America. It was like, you're a joke. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's just butcher. Oh, uh, yeah, just on, on a similar note, one of the funnier things that happened, uh, I can't remember the name now, but there was this picture that went viral. It was one of the Russian females who won gold in one of the shooting contests. And she she was really relaxed. She had her hand in her pocket. kind of looked like she was slouching a bit. And she was shooting, now they shoot air pistols. And you can look at all these photos of her. And all the comments are people mansplaining that oh, that's a really yes. bad posture. You can't shoot like that. I You're going to have a broken wrist. Yeah. And just all the other comments are, you know she won gold. No, no, but Steve, it's worse than that. It was the commentators were mansplaining. Oh, uh, no, the co- commentators, sh- commentators should have known because they ate yeah. air pistols. They, but be, the, they, the they keep it. Were bad I was reading about this. They keep it really casual to help with heart rate, so that they don't yeah. succumb to pressure. They try to keep their postures incredibly casual, so that yeah. it doesn't get uh, a high heart rate. But yeah, that's really bad. That the commentators were doing. Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was quite bad. And I was sitting there going, I "Think they would know?" Yeah, it's their job to know. Really is like I mean, yeah, you think. I mean, yeah, I guess it's just show up to the studio and they're like, all right, you're doing this, you're doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. I yeah. thought that they'd have... Kind like, of like... Beforehand, I... you go, all right, you have this sport, this sport, this sport, this sport. Do some fucking research. Yeah, like, I assume that there they would be... Kind of like you see already have the same couple of lads do, but they would actually have each sport research and know what... Yeah, like, it's, it's not just a, all right... I'll show up in the day and I'll see what they give me. Yeah, yeah like that, that seems bad. No, <laughs> Come no, on, track and field. Track and field. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, we've had a very heartbreaking week or so for Ireland. Now, we've won, we've won three medals so far. Did quite well. Good in the rowing. First gold medal ever in the rowing and 10th gold medal all time. So, you know, there is positives, but we've had had some very unfortunate runs, like our own uh, Reese. Reese, I'm trying to get the same race, McLeaghan, in the gymnastics himself on the pommel horse. I think he was apparently a medal favorite, and his hand slipped in his routine, and he came off, and then he finished like second last in the final, which was quite Ooh, that's heartbreaking, all right. Yeah, and we had Rory McIlroy lose a bronze medal in a playoff. There was like four or five lads joint third at the end of the last day, and he lost in the playoff to get a bronze medal. He said he's never fought so hard for third in his life. And then what other ones? Oh, yeah. Aiden, was it? Yeah, it was Aiden Walsh in the boxing, celebrating his win in the quarterfinals to guarantee himself a medal, jump, jumping up and down. I'm sure we've all seen the photos. He landed awkwardly on his ankle and then couldn't fight the semi-final to try to get the, the, the silver. Silver. Uh, Which no. was, yeah. yeah. And uh, boxing. I watched some, not a lot, but the boxing in this, the like, amateur boxing annoys me. Professional boxing to a similar extent, but there just seems to be no consistency with the scoring, and it's it's hard to watch. Um, yeah. Like, I watched some rounds, like, Aiden Walsh, no, it was Kurt Walker against Reagan, the American. I watched it two, three mornings ago, and he, hands down, won two rounds. Just, just physically bet the man up for two rounds and still lost the fight. Because the, both those rounds were like scored a lot of time against him. And it was just, I don't know, it just seems to be weird. The, the amateur boxing stuff, I can never get behind it. But I, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I have no idea how it, it's scored, but I do have like memories of watching it at times and going, what the, how, how. Yeah, I mean, how is this? Like now we do have Kelly Harrington up. Tonight, I think, in her quarterfinal, she's supposed to be very good, so we hope we'll have one more medal from her. That would be nice. That would get us a good tally, I think, for the event. And um, Yeah, that should that should us on, on, on a good one. But, oh, did you see, wait, wait, okay, biggest news of the Olympics. I know we've said this, like, three times already tonight. Uh, Do we have a counter? <laughs> probably. Did you just hear about, right, on the 29th of July, 
Alessandra Pirelli won bronze in the women's trap shooting. And that was San Marino's first ever Olympic medal. I did see something about this. But it gets better. Two days later, she won the uh, mixed trap. No, she didn't win it. She got silver in the mixed trap shooting event as well. So they have two medals now, and they've never had a medal before this. It's what the smallest country alive. to ever win an Olympic medal, and they have two. That's absolutely in- incredible. Yeah, apparently I was looking this up a little bit. Five years ago in Rio, she got fourth. Apparently very close to bronze. I'm not sure how shooting is scored. But apparently she was unlucky not to get bronze five years ago. But very happy for the country of San Marino. I assume it's similar to uh, archery where they have targets in each. I would target think so, but I haven't watched shooting in a while. That's fair. I've actually never watched it. so I, I watch everything I in the see. Olympics. Yeah. But, you know what they say about assuming. Yeah. Um, all right. Is that all your Olympics? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. The real biggest story of the Olympics. This is a big story. <laughs> but, like, I've heard nobody talk about it. It's really weird. Just it's really the quickly. person it, refusing to leave. Getting kidnapped. Yes. Yes. Fun fact. I only just discovered this because the Poland are so Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is like a big thing Wait, that they're making it out to be. Kristina yeah. Tisimanoskaya, yeah, apologies, Belarusian, uh, 100, 200 meter running. She's refusing runner. to leave Tokyo. No, no, that's, no. They were trying to make her leave Tokyo. The official, or the Belarusian, like her coaches were like, no, we're leaving now. Even yeah. though she still hasn't ran the 200 meters. And she ran away claiming refugee currently in the, oh yeah, it's a Polish embassy, isn't it? Yeah, in Polish Tokyo. news. And they're trying to make her force her to leave uh, Tokyo, and she's now claiming refugee status in the Polish embassy. Uh, why were they trying to force her to leave? I don't remember. I can't I'm really reading the, part of the story. It, it's had a all yeah, over it, the place. It hasn't been much. Yeah, it just apparently she's just they're trying to force her again against her will out of the country. And uh, I don't know. There must be a lot more to this than has come out as of yet. But it there it seems like be. nobody's talking about this. Yeah, that sounds insane. Yeah. I guess they're just waiting for more to come out before they can say anything. True, true. But, I but that gets us Polish true. news. I had Polish news update. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'll give you that one. Right. Uh, well, on that note, we'll move on to the next point of this evening's show, where we're going to pick a an Olympic event for each other person to partake in what an olympic event that we could see each other person yes do so do we want to do one like as an i give both to mine or do you want to go i give one, one, at a time. Gives one yeah i think that's probably all right probably. yeah yeah one, one, one at a time seems fine mike okay. do you want to go first then okay uh i will go with you Oshin. all right then. so i have three events for you right Right. Uh, see myself, I can see you do well. well two are very similar, but one it was out there, but when you hear me out, I think so the one that's really out there is I think you be great at gymnastics in particular, ribbon dancing. I think you bring a charisma and elegance on the floor. You do have good with, rhythm. I'll oh, give you that. Fantastic rhythm. He'd be mm. and he'd be he would go well in. I did it. did consider gymnastics as well for that reasoning. I assume you get to choose your own song. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you do yeah, routine. Yeah, you know you do routine like a few pirouettes, three back half somersault. You could do it. <laughs> There'd be no somersaulting <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I, what, I, I wouldn't even have a routine planned. I'd just go out on the just on the day. Michael, Michael Michael see sounds. It. <laughs> That's it. Bit of a Connor for real. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that round, but uh, I think if I but that was. What was out there? And I was like, I'd say archery is where you be probably your best, and you do well in. You tend to be sit back and use a marksman, mm. sniper rifle, or whatnot. I mean, if you brought a sniper rifle to the archery, there's more issues at hand there. No, but I definitely win though. Oh, I mean, yeah. holding them hostage maybe, but are you really winning? Well, they give you the no, gold, think... so yes. <laughs> But I think archery is what I put machine down for. Where? What was the third one you had? 
Oh, it was marksman shooting. I couldn't oh, think of yes, what yes, the yes, actual yes, sport was. It's, so it's just oh, shooting. Same, it's Even the same thing. We just talked yeah. about the shooting. Yes, it's just shooting. That's yeah. fair. Um, Keen, do you want to go for one next? Yes. All right, I'll do Mike then, just to keep it all in flow. All right, to clarify, Keen, before you do me, is this before the incident where I had no knees, or now where I had no knees? No, I'm just going to go with now. That's so it. I'm going to use Mike's uh, advantages here of no knees, which isn't an advantage in this. It just, I feel like it get, you can get away with it more without having the full use of your knees and the fact that, you know, not to pull any punches here. Just, just but before you're not you say a tall what man. the actual sport is. Yes. We, I feel like we both went on the same road with the no knees. <laughs> I, <slug. laughs> I swear to God. Is it rowing or something? No. I feel like oh, that I requires know. lots of knees because yeah, you're kind of too. pushing through your legs. Uh, I thought you were going to no, put me my... out there. God, it's like stroke, stroke, stroke. Oh, actually, yeah. I could put you in the quads doing that. That's uh, <laughs> That probably... Well, no, I feel like that's unfair. Uh the one that I did have you down for is because you're like no offense. You're you're you are short. I'm also yes. short. You're you're short. And yeah. one place I feel like that is always an advantage is in horse based events. Because the <laughs> horse can then jump better if there's a smaller larger man on him. So I, I feel like Mike would be quite good at the the old events. Yes. <laughs> I'd give him eventing. I don't like dressage, if you want to dressage, sure. Horsey dancing. But you know, get up get over those hurdles, I think. Also, just severely underrated. I love watching show jumping. Not even eventing. Eventing's different. Show jumping. That's the one. That's one for Mike. That's that's pretty. I solid. mean, pretty solid. Um, yeah. I, I was. Know, I feel like feel like on the back of a horse, you might get a few jolts coming up through the knees that might uh, dislocate them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it doesn't have to move. He just has to sit there and go ah. Just my grimace knee. through the pain. <laughs> yeah. For. <laughs> Clarification to viewers, I did have an injury that dislocated both my kneecaps, and now they are frequent to dislocations and happen at any time. Every now and then, just walk to the bus and boom. Yes, I mean, there's so much pain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have dislocated while walking to the bus stop with you guys. Who hasn't? Who hasn't had their knees dislocated? I think I have. I have. But I, have not. I was in my. Ah, uh, before that, though. I had speed, and it was great. I was actually once a Wicklow 100 meter champion at a Leinster bronze at one stage in my life. Oh, oh that was a long time ago. 16. And how old were you, 17? I was 16. 21. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that was a highlight, and then it just went downhill. That's fair. I'll go for Kian just... next, then, to keep the, uh... the trend going. That's the trend yeah, that's... going. Choo-choo. Keen, I have no particular reason for this. I just like I to was... see wait, you Wait, wait, this. sorry. Sorry. That was a way too long pause. <laughs> you just went, Keen, I have no... Yeah, that, that's Reason I, I, for just... this. <laughs> I was trying to think of if there was a better word than reason, but there wasn't. So I have no particular reason for putting you down as this. I just have a feeling that you'd be decent at it. I, I threw down rugby sevens. Did you ever play rugby? I feel like you played rugby before. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Uh, I have a neck. I could probably play rugby sevens, but I'm not allowed to play rugby union because I don't have a neck. I don't have neck muscles. Genuinely, really. yeah, I can't play rugby even though I'm like, I was always built for it. My neck is like, I don't have muscles in my neck. I assume you've noticed I can't move my head. That I well. never realized it was a, a, a requirement, though, to be honest, for Ruby. It just never occurred to me that you have to... It's, yeah, it's more like I would do... I'd get a serious bother in any form of, like, rock or scrum in particular. Yeah. Really. I, it might, like, right. Yeah. Rugby sevens, maybe, because there's just less people. Yeah, I'd have to go back to the drawing board. I'm not, I, I, can, I can give you that. Because I see. Fair, I, see. I do that, have I three sports. I do have three sports for key, but you can take one of them if you want. <laughs> You put way too much thought into this. I struggled hey, so much with this. How do you feel about badminton? I fucking love badminton. I played it yeah, when I was like eight or nine years old. That's what I'm going to say. That I'm going to change my rugby sevens to badminton. Fair. See this how you can't uh, 
I think he could get away with rugby sevens, but yeah, better yeah. safe than sorry. Badminton. To be fair, I that's cannot fair. run very well, and that gives me ninety percent of rugby also, sevens. Yeah, also, yeah. Also, plus, what happens when it's on one side where he can't hear the call? That could <laughs> yeah. be a problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's very fair. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my rugby sevens to badminton, which is actually quite a fun sport. It is yeah. a fun sport. All we right. should play badminton. God, yes. Says, do you want to go again for Ursh or should I go for Keen? We we're going to the same order, so you yeah, go now, so you then go I go. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Keen, I have three sports for you. Oh, Once fuck, again, I never realized that this means I go back to back to... Oh, fucking God, all right. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> as Ursh and your stock, I went for three sports that are similar. I went for field events here, and I put you down for hard throw, javelin, and shot put. The throwing event? <laughs> yes. I think you're pretty well on these. What about this? Hard throw, yeah. a push, javelin... I'd say you can throw a good job. Javelin, right I'm not sure, but yeah, shot put. I'd book a shot put. Yeah, I, you know. What, what about the discus? You, did you just. Ooh, I never put the discus. Or... But Mike doesn't respect discus as a true. I don't. No, what a yeah, scumbag. No. <laughs> That's a proper sport <laughs> too, right there. To be fair, it's a lot of bend, knee bending. Uh, <laughs> with I the do discus. enjoy watching, like, shot put. Like, it genuinely looks impressive with the spinning in the circle, the technique for a shot put. Only, only reason I really completely forgot about discus is because I know days that Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games for Hammer Show and <laughs> is Javelin. Is that where you found your events list when you couldn't find it anywhere <laughs> else is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? <laughs> now me and my sister were playing it a week ago <laughs> and I had a great time. Isn't discus the one where they do That's the spinning? Fair. Isn't shot put just a straight... Oh, shot put shoulder. is you oh. kind of an... I did shot put is where you kind of... Yeah, you push it off the shoulder and you do there's, kind of a turn. There's two. There's one with a half turn. Yeah. And then there's the more advanced one where you physically spin full in a circle to get yeah. as much centrifugal force as you can. Oh, I didn't know that. I know discus, they do a, a good bit of spinning. They would do, yeah, a fair bit yeah. of spinning on no discus. And a, I wonder and how, a, t- how dizzy they get when they spin for discus. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do discus. I get dizzy real easy. Yeah. That's why I didn't put discus then. Fair. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's the fine. reason. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the accidental reason that he had. <laughs> All right. Uh, I had a good. I genuinely put my thought into what Oshin. I think what strengths Oshin has, and I had a look at a lot of things. I genuinely thought I don't know why, but I thought Oshin would be good in Dale's wrestling. I was like, if you give him a chance. Just the spitefulness that he has, I don't think he would lose wrestling greatly. But this isn't what I went with. This is this is a thought I have. I was like, I don't know. I think we should we should be nasty if he has a chance for wrestling. I'm glad you didn't go with like, that because I don't. I I would be shocked at wrestling. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I was like, tap out, tap out. I'm what's Oshin's uh, strengths? And I was thinking about this. I went with I he's, that is he's, his biggest strength. That's very, and That's why yeah, I went ribbon yeah. dancing. I I do consider Oshin quite tall. Even though he may not be considered tall by most people, by my standards, where I'm average, he's tall. And I thought, what do tall people do? They do the high jump. So I'm going to give Ushin the high jump. Good for us, Reef Flop there. I, I don't know. Be nasty I don't it. know. After witnessing Ushin at the, uh, <laughs> doing the first spider web challenge, probably not the high jump. <laughs> That's so hey, there's no jumping involved there. That was climbing. <laughs> That's why I didn't go sport climbing. Now, did I? Sport climbing. <laughs> that was so different as That's well. in the Olympics. That is in the Olympics. Well, I'd like to point out that the rope that he wanted me to climb, there was Just... no tension on it. At <laughs> yeah, all. I know. It, was, it was basically like kept on by like a strand. So when I stepped on it, it, it just came it. down to the floor and I was just oh, standing yeah. on the ground. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. high jump. I don't know. I remember you know, doing it at the old, uh, the old sports day in, in school. One, one too shabby. Exactly, yeah. The high jump? Are, you, are you sure not the long jump? No, no yeah, that's what she's talking. They're different nice. events. One goes yeah, up, one goes forward. Sure. Just make sure. We had a high jump bar with a mat. We all fell asleep on it yeah. in sixth year because our sports day was the day after we all went out for graduation. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, there was like 10 of us came in that morning yeah. and we just slept on the mat for the morning. Our school was weird. We didn't have, yeah. I think, once we got to third year, we had no more sport, PE. They just said, all right, no more PE. More maths classes and English classes and Irish classes instead. We were like, what? No, we had uh, two double PE classes a week. We had we had one, but we didn't. They're building a hall in our school, which is now finished. But mm. back then it wasn't. We just get over to the community centre. 
and then first or third year they had proper PE with the PE teacher. But once they got to yeah. maybe third year, for whatever reason they gave us one of the other teachers because they assumed yeah. the PE teacher might have been busy with biology at the time. And so ooh, he used to come over with us and we'd just he used to go for a fag and we'd sit in the hall just yeah. chat for like an hour and then leave. It was great. I would have hated actually. Uh, our PE used to be well, first and second year PE was decide. Here's, here's football, go play a match. But then third mm. year, we had a teacher who couldn't give a crap. He's like, all right, there's Bray Head. Run up it. I come back. <laughs> what about <laughs> We're like, what? And he's like, by the way, I will drive there, and I'll be up there, and I will take note of who doesn't make it up. <laughs> what That's, about was it? <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> when you say, he, when you say he didn't give a shit, like, he gave more of a shit than the guy who just went, here's a football, play a, play a match. Yes, yes, but that's not what we wanted. <laughs> We went to the football, we are like, Fair. what? <laughs> anyway. Uh, my, oh, actually, my, sorry, on this point, we, we, we did use the, the teacher used to bring us up and he used to go for a smoke break. He used to bring a football. So occasionally we'd have a kick around. At one point, we did play Red Ars. Do you ever play, like, play keep your into Red Ars? Yes. With the teacher. Ooh. So obviously, <laughs> we all just attacked him and eventually, he eventually lost the game. But there... <laughs> There's a video somewhere of one of my mates <laughs> shooting a football right into the arse of my Irish teacher. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, this is a great one. Sorry, continue. It's all right. I was just going to go with uh, my pick for Mike. And, you know, I actually put a, put a bit of effort into this one as well. No knees is what I've heard so far. I yeah. did. I, I, I got up the list of Olympic Games. <laughs> I went through each one. I went, could you do this without knees? I mean, no, just I a whole power about, Olympics I with people about without knees. I I've just pointed I that out. I went for the Olympic Games. <laughs> I, I just did, didn't include any other Winter Games or Paralympics or anything. So I thought about the the horse-based ones, the equestrian ones, and I just went, ah, the jolts might get to Mike's knees a bit too much, and I didn't know if he could <laughs> service through the pain without say, dropping be, be points. Glorious. I thought about golf because I was like, oh, you're standing still. But actually, on the follow through, you do have to bend your knee quite a bit. And I didn't think Mike would be able to do it. So I went with, I, I have two sports where I feel like it's just a lot of standing still mainly. And it's uh, archery <laughs> and shooting. <laughs> so I like, oh, not for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I have these, so. <laughs> you're a kind of sniper, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a sniper. <laughs> but yeah, I mean That's, every yeah. other one I think you need knees for. <laughs> it's a tough call. Canoeing maybe not, because they're like in the boat and it's all upper boat yeah. trend. Yeah, fair. Not that I'm a technical expert on canoeing. But in the in the photo that the Olympics uh have for I was on the Olympics website and for mm. the uh canoe slash kayak flat water, um the man is standing up and he's got, it looks like he might actually be down on one knee. And I thought that might be a bit much for Mike. That's uh, weird. I was about to say, were you just looking up at all the Olympic sports and just look at people and he's saying, there's a lot of muscle on that one. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. No, Wrong. it's, a, it's actually so much. It's a stick bed in the... Uh, yeah, they have list. little like, stick bed things. It's pretty cool, to be honest. I, I actually quite enjoy it. <laughs> I, Mike, I, how I, are you at cycling? I'm genuinely curious, does the knees, is there much knee affection with like, uh, I assume it's got to be tough I assume times. it's the same. Like, but well, remember, I assume it's the same as me playing football now. I still play football. Just at a much slower. Because yeah, like, there's not as much pace. force on your, on your feet when you're cycling. Would there yeah. be? Well, maybe there would be. Uh, yeah, it depends at, like, the speed. Once mm. again, it's just a case of it can happen at any time, no matter what it is. It's like a football. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's an annual, we it's a walking, brain aneurysm. Yeah, like when we were walking to the bus stop, I wasn't exerting myself. That's right. <laughs> I so need like to just, just <laughs> pop. It's just a casual walk and it just popped out. Kind of funny. Um, I used, yeah. Yeah, it, it. That injury did ruin a lot of my athletics. How old were <laughs> like you I when, used, when it first happened? Oh, jeez. When, when did I first meet you? Was it 2017, 18 when it happened? Uh, it was the 17, 18, 18 academic year because I was away for the year. Oh. We first met you. Yeah. We first met you. Yeah. So we're in there, yeah, because I used to, because in secondary school, I was 100 meters to 
relay hundred meters. Long jump, I was alright at the long jump. Really? But Wouldn't you're be so able to... small. I had a good leap. But that would just let start. him to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, but I always thought that uh, quite a lot of long jumpers are quite tall and then their feet stick also, out at yeah. the end. Yeah, but these are professional ones. We're talking with glow league like no, I wouldn't say it's amateur, but you know yeah. school events and whatnot. Amateur. Yeah, work, yes. in a country yeah. like Ireland where we don't yeah. have a massive degree of degree in, in athletics. Fair. But yeah. I have a rugby medal for junior league winners rugby medal. Playing like up to junior rugby. Recently, so I just, about, just uh, read my history. Yeah. Just talk about, history it's Mike's Mike. therapy. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. It's my relief after my sport PTSD from the injury. Yeah. You guys are just reliving my career. We learned what about could Mike's, have been. Mike's ancestors, his lineage. We've learned about his uh, sporting I mean, history. If I'm any of you listeners would like to hear about any part about of Mike's, Mike's history, life. just uh, Please, me, write in. Leave a comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm also proud of us that one of us actually picked uh, lacrosse for Keen. No, because it's uh, not an not Olympic in the sport. Yet. Is it? It's, it's like, going. It's, it's no. It's it's now can be put into like every couple of years. They before the Olympics, they like vote on which sports to put in and put out. So now I think it's allowed. It's like an Olympic official sport where it can be added to the Olympics. I think is kind of how it's. It, there's so many hoops and barriers has been gone for eight or nine years, and it's weird. But I, it's not in the Olympics, but now can be. I think is how it's going. It would have been so much easier if it was in the Olympics. I mean, for that logic, I could have put both you down as football, but I thought that was too easy. That's yeah, that's fair. Uh, I yeah. just kind of at one point stopped listening and clicked into the Youth Olympic Games. And mm. uh, one of the sports here is breaking, and it looks like it's breakdancing. Oh my god. What? Not for me. Not for yes, me. Yes, <laughs> breaking is an urban dance style that originated in the Bronx through uh, borough of New York in the 1970s. They have breakdancing in the Youth Olympic Games. There's a fun fact for you. <laughs> not much of a career in the senior game once you make it yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the problem oh no hold on it it debuts in paris in 2024 oh, of course all right so there is going to be a wait career. no but that's in yeah that debuts in the actual olympics in the youth olympic games Jesus. no because paris 2024 is real olympics yes, yeah but it's listed under the youth olympics so i assume okay. the youth olympics is also in paris 2024 no most likely uh, the next one's Dakar in 2026. I'm literally looking it up right now. Really? But it says, ha. Huh. So I feel like I've been lied to by the uh, um, Olympic Games Olympic website. League. I mean, that's a legal case here. Oh, we need a new studio. <laughs> oh, what did you say, Keen? Oh, no, never mind. That's the Winter Youth Olympic Games. Uh, yeah, yeah no, Gang won in 2024. Yes, it is. Huh. So why? Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it's it will in the Youth Olympics at the moment, and it actually debuts in the actual Olympics in twenty twenty four. Yeah, I'm not sure how far ahead of the Olympics that they actually pick the event. So definitely, like, yeah, for it. not on the Wikipedia yet. <laughs> oh my god, it is. No, it is. So wait, it is or it isn't? It, breaking is in the the twenty twenty four Summer Olympics. I'm actually uh... the little stick man. He's just upside down. Yeah, he's got his hand on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's what I saw. And I was. It just said breaking, and I was like, "That looks like breaking." So you just got served. Is gonna come to Paris. <laughs> oh my god, you got served. Uh, actually, I, I got a question. I I brought this to keep, but I'll bring it to Oshie. Oshie, yeah. the idea for the Olympics. You know where they're bring all these new sports in to try and make it more appealing. Yes. I said this game, would it not make it more interesting? And I know it would make it interesting for me if they treated the Olympics oh, like jury duty and just random people are just added in. It could be anyone and say, you're doing this sport, you have to do it for your country that and would, watch it like that. that would I think that would be so much oh, more no. enjoyable. That would annoy the beginning. Of the Olympics. I, think, I think they should have a separate Olympics for that. They can keep the Olympics as it is, but they should definitely have a separate Olympics. I know, time. You, you, have, to, you have to. And then the, your work has to let you off because you're representing your country. So it's like, and then, oh, now here's sorry. Big Dave on the diving board there, representing <laughs> Ireland. Ooh, and it's a flop. Unlucky, Big Dave. 
As you see, he's gone for the belly flop technique here. Let's see what the judges scored. I think if it's, <laughs> that's it. if it's just a bunch of amateurs or like, you know, like get, I don't know, like someone my size has to be behind them. It's like, yep, we just locked out here. The jury duty guy just happened to be him. Unlucky, mate. Really awkward if you pick someone that's deadly afraid of heights for the high board to <laughs> take it up. Down Ooh. I think it would be so much more enjoyable. I'd watch that. I'd, I'd, watch I'd it. honestly probably watch that more than I watch the actual Olympics. Like, I understand. Like, it's, uh, I understand, like, yeah, you want to watch professionals do it and all that, but it loses the appeal of that. Like, sometimes you watch clips of Sunday League football is sometimes so much more enjoyable because it just goes wrong so fast. Some poor bastard who hasn't run in three months is doing the triathlon. He just starts throwing up halfway through and the camera just like, oh. some guy, Yeah, someone has the hurdles and has to just physically one leg at a time. <laughs> I, I'd like I to think that yeah. everyone doing the hurdles has to go one leg at a time and they just it's just their face. It's just he's who's the last man standing? <laughs> who's the last person not to fall over a hurdle? Like I said, it makes it because then it's so much more competitive because anyone could win. You don't know who wins. It's like, oh, the Chinese are looking good on this one. It's like, they got the one that looks the fittest out of all of them on this race. Ah, <laughs> oh, that would be incredible. I think I'd like, yeah, you guys are idiots. I'm just completely I like that. I am happy right, you Keith, be on this. I think people would enjoy it an awful yeah. lot. Leave, leave a comment if you, you agree with us. I would you like to see that? Popular. I think so, too. So there's a gap in the market there as well. We should pitch this idea to... Uh, oh, my to God. Right here. The committee. Committee. <laughs> Just send random people. We'll get the viewings <laughs> going. Oh, yes. All right. I think we've covered everything we wanted to cover. Unless you guys so have too. anything extra you want to uh, discuss or throw in? No, I think I just realized it lead to the treble on Eurovision... Uh, Euros and 100 meters for fair play. <laughs> Did you <include laughs> the money travel? Into that? Yeah. Well, what are, who else has? What other countries want Eurovision, the Euros, and 100 meters? I, like, I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying that the, the Eurovision is very, very different. <laughs> it is quite different. From, uh, hey, hey, two. still a competition. Still a competition. No, you I'm tell that it to the Italians. It's not a sporting competition. Speaking of the Euros, uh, uh, break we dances. were discussing. <laughs> Um, Cellini and Benucci yes. uh, potentially retiring. Cellini is apparently signing a two-year deal at Juventus, which will keep him there huh. until 2023. Which means that he is obviously thinking he'll about be around for the World Cup. Qatar World Cup. World Cup. I say yeah, like most you'd say will go for the work because it's only a year away. It's not that far away. Yes, it's think, a they can last and a, a year. Away. Yeah, so they're thinking that more year. They can do it. Maybe, yeah. Interesting. If uh, Italy can keep that team together, I wonder. But actually, also, at the same time, like he'll be a year and a half older. You don't know who He's emerges. already 100 years old. Yeah, you, you never know who emerges in a year. Just lights up the league. Fair. Okay, can I have one more best story ever? Oh, my God. No. All right, you, this is that the last five? One, uh, then, then we'll is that five for today? <laughs> probably, probably. Okay. Okay, so in the, I think it was actually in the high jump. The uh, Italy's Gianmarco Tambury and Mutaz Barsham of Qatar shared the gold medal. They both failed at whatever height. They both failed the same height three times, which normally means they go into a jump off. But the Italian lad just went to the official and went, can't we both have gold medals? And the official was like, I suppose so. So there's two gold medal winners in the high jump. That's incredible. So what you're telling me is it's no longer a treble, it's a quad for Italy. Did the Italian that just think he wouldn't be able to beat your man in a jump off? He was like, oh, here, I'm uh, Apparently they're mates. Oh, okay, um, they actually like know each other. I would assume so. Yeah, yeah uh, I did see videos of them, like, they could be separated and all that. This was like an hour oh, before right. the 100 meters final as well, which is kind of funny. A good day for Italy. That is no, I need to know why, but I I'm just going think... here. Look, short, just cut that medal in half. We'll take half each. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it, it feels like, like, surely, like, 
the first rule of the Olympics is one gold medal per event. You would think. You mean you mean Highlander rules? There can only be one. Yeah, like, I feel like. <laughs> Did they to go the then, death. Did, did they go with no uh, silver medal? You know the way if you have two people yeah, tied did. first. Really? So the other guy just got the, the, the other guy who also finished on the same height got third. What a man. So, so think... power play here, which national anthem was played first? Oh, oh that's, that's actually cool. a very good show. That, that's, no, that's I think a power it play. Did, the first half was Italian and then the second half was the other country. <laughs> I like to think like it's it one gold just... medal. So they could squeeze in the timeline for one of them. I like did to they think that they did Gloria? both at once, and it's just a, a, a mess, and no one knows what's going on. Was it, was it a Blades of Glory? Did they push each other off? Well, it's not even a podium anymore, is it? It's just you stand. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's not even a podium. It's you're just standing in a designated area. Yeah. They'll just play it. Oh, actually, I did see the. Uh, I I actually have one. One final best Olympic story ever. Did you see? You know the the meme, the comic strip meme that was going around since I think it was last year of the guy who wins a medal, then he like bites yes. it and celebrating that he yes. it turns out he came third. Did you see there yeah. was a Brazilian athlete I cannot remember his name who uh, essentially just recreated that that comic strip. <laughs> really? Yeah, that, I do love that. That's it's that's a that's a top quality meme format. It is a think. fantastic. All right. And on that note, we'll leave it there. Cheers for listening. Be the algorithm. You stay classy. <laughs>